Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. Welcome to my studio. It's Lorette. Well, today is Work On It Wednesday. Um, I didn't really title it that way, but it is. And today I'm going to be playing with some artist trading cards. Um, that's what you see here. They look like they're finished, but they're not. They're, they're not glued on or anything yet. A few are, some aren't. Um, I started these. I really didn't have any other project that I was ready to video. So you know, to record. So I thought maybe we could just work on these today. If you've never made an artist trading card, um, neither have I. <clears throat> so I've watched a few videos. Most of them are collage cards. They have all kinds of things collaged on them and they're very artistic, but I'm making some very simple ones today that I'm going to be using for some th special thank you gifts. So, um, I thought we'd give it a little play, see what you think. Welcome everyone, welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm so thrilled you're here and you've stopped in to, to join me. This is not my normal thing. This is a little extra project, it's something I was working on and thought I would turn on the camera since I didn't have a video for Wednesday. And I'm excited about it. I've always wanted to make some and I'd actually like to do full collage ones. Now, the thing that makes some artist trading cards or at least my understanding of it is the size and it's a very unique, unusual size. It is, um, like, I guess they're all the same. Uh, I will show you what I used. Um, I believe that what makes some artist trading cards is that they are, I'm gonna measure them, two and a half by three and a half. They're kind of like a business card size. A lot of people trade these. They do all kinds of fun things with them. And so, I thought, well, what the heck, I would give it a try, see if I liked making them. I just moved this and now I don't know where it was. Okay, I think it was like that. Anyway, so I thought I'd, I'd give it a try and see if I liked making them. They, they're fun, they're little. I've seen a few done with just, you know, an image and a little word or a number, a little tag, and that's it, just very simply. So I thought I'd do some of that. And I used some pre-collage papers. Most of these papers, honestly, I believe are all Tracy Fox or Tracy Fox and Artie Mays from their um, a couple of their kits that they did together. So that's where I got the basis for these. Um, one of them's Tracy's free background paper. And you know, I don't know, I just cut up a bunch of stuff. So <clears throat> what I did was I bought these 10 years ago or longer when I first saw artist trading cards come out. And I think I got them at Orient Express or one of those kind of places. Um, and they're already pre-cut. They're really shiny on one side and flat on the other. So what I did was I laid these all out on um, sheets of digital papers, laid them all out, filled up the whole sheet, glued them on, and then cut them out. And this is the shiny side here, and I put the paper on the flat side. So because you don't normally do both sides, some people do. Usually they put their info on the back. Um, but I'm not going to be doing anything with the back of these. I'm just going to leave them as is. This is just a, a sweet little you know, extra goodie I, I wanted to um, use as thank yous with my orders. So if you happen to end up buying one of my orders, you may get one of my beautiful little cards. I haven't decided what constitutes who gets them and who doesn't, you know. I don't know if it'll be by size of purchase or what you purchase or, or anything like that. Sorry, I had to get some water. I have a really dry mouth today. Um, so I pulled out a bunch of stuff to decorate with, and we'll just see where we go with them. Uh, before I get started, there is something I would like to share with you. Um, it is a brand new kit by Jewel Design, which is Jolene Burt. Um, as many of you know who've been with me a long time, if you're brand new, I'll explain who she is. She is my daughter. She is a professional graphic designer, and she creates digital kits, many of which you will see me use on my channel. And so she has a brand new kit out I wanted to share with you. Uh, she does have a full um, flip through on this. So I'm just gonna do uh, like a minor flip through because I am going to be using it in, um, in um, what do you wanna call it? In some projects, sorry, I just get a complete blank. I will be absolutely honest. I have a migraine today. I've taken my meds. Mm, I'm slightly loopy, but we'll see. It might be a really fun video. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll see what we get. This is her black and white for floral engrave music sheet journal kit. It is a stunner. It is black and white. Now, I feel like 
this is very distracting. So I'm looking around my studio to see what I could put over that so that we're not looking at um, those images while we're trying to look at her. So I'm going to throw, <sighs> we'll do that. Maybe that won't mess up what's underneath too bad. Okay, let's try that. So here's the kit. Oh, it's beautiful. She did a beautiful black and white and gray scale. And I'm in love with this image. The little girls that she put in here are oh, right up my alley. I adore them. And these are not Tim Holtz images. She did not get them from Tim Holtz. They come from other places that she's allowed to use as a graphic designer. And these are the pages. She also did some masculine fun, fun pages as well. And some that are just background, could be used on the back side. Love that. A lot of French images, which I adore, as you know. And then it starts over. I did reprint it. So these are the background pages. With this kit, you also get some black and white vintage journal ephemera. Get your pockets, which we adore. Um, you get a nice file folder. You get belly bands, which you know, like I do a million things with those belly bands, which you will see. And I'm going to be doing a full project with this. So then we have those wonderful journaling cards she designed and came up with that you just fold in half, glue them, and you have an instant journal card. She was the first one to do those. I'm starting to see others come up, but people need to realize that is copyrighted. Uh, then we do have an envelope some more of those cards um she's got some more journaling cards another belly band now this isn't misprinted this is meant to look like this it is grayscale down it's meant to be a light background so that you could take and put an image on top of that and it would show now if you say to yourself hey i and then i reprinted it um if you say to yourself, hey, I don't really like black and white, keep in mind, black and white go is considered a neutral and goes with everything. You can put pink with it, hot pink, purple, blue, green, yellow, any base card you want, any base color you want. The other thing that I think um, in her group the other night on a live that she did, she someone talked, I think it was Diana Capanelli, she said, well, what about coloring these? So you could, if you are an adult colorist and you like to color, which I do, you could color some of these images in here and it would be beautiful to add some color to it that way. You can back it with colors. You can put it on colored paper. There's really quite a few things you can do with this. Don't look at it as just black and white because it really isn't just black and white. So I got to keep these labeled because, you know, um, I do, I'm, I'm her lead design team person she would love to do a design team, but she needs to have some people make some things with it. She does have a Facebook group, um, which I think is Crafters of a Jewel Design. Uh, she does is on Instagram. She does have a YouTube channel under Jolene Burt, B-U-R-T. I will try to make sure we have links for some of these things, but we're not the greatest at linking, so we'll give it a try. She also, to complement that, she has a 5 by 7 companion kit, which I absolutely adore. These can be folded in half. They can be left with the white background. They can be trimmed off. They can be trimmed all the way to there. So you do have the option of these. These would make wonderful coloring pages, I have to tell you. I love them. See, now I don't know if this is right side. Yeah, that's right side up. Look at this image. <gasps> I'm so in love with it. I can tell you I'm gonna be doing some fun things with this. Oh, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness, I love black and white. My Room is black, white, and then um, an icy blue. And then I have touches of um, dusty rose. So these are background pages that can go on the back of any of the kit pieces or on the back of these pieces here. And along with that, she also came up with die cut ephemera. We have this that can be added to a page if you just want, or I think this would make wonderful coloring pages. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I printed them on a heavier paper but I also printed them on um, a lighter paper too to color. So I did do that. And so you have that image, you have that one. So you could cut fussy cut these. I think your Cricut and your Scana cut will cut that as is, and they can be used in the middle of, um, in the middle of a, I don't have a journal page right now, I don't think. 
Now, hold on one sec. I am working on a journal right now. Let me see if I have it. I'm going to talk you through it just for a minute. These would be great uh, in, in the center. You know, you put it in here. You could have it like a doily. Or you could put it like right in the middle of your page. It would be awesome like right in the middle. Cut out. I wish I had time to cut one, but I didn't. So, um... These are wonderful. They can be used for a whole bunch of things. I can think of all kinds of things you can do with these. Then we have this sheet. Isn't that beautiful? And there I reprinted again on just regular paper that I'm going to do some projects with. So I do have some ideas for all of these goodies um, to do. So they're gonna be coming up very, very soon. These are part of the new projects I was debating on whether I was going to keep them or do them or what I was going to do, you know. So, um, yeah, there we go. So, these are the die cuts that go with the kit. And I think it's just stunning. I mean, I don't know, if you're not a fan of black and white, like I said, add your pink, add your orange, add your whatever other color you like. And it would be a very striking kit. Also, she does have words. She's got a whole new set of words um, that she hasn't used before. So this is wonderful to add to your word kit. So it's a black and white vertical and horizontal words um, that you can add to your collection. So she does have those. And these are all in her shop, I believe, as of last night. So that is the black and white kit by Jewel Design. You will be seeing me do a project with this. And it will be a very fun project. Now, if you're not into black and white, don't worry because the kit, the project I'm going to be doing lends itself to any digital paper. Oh, Tommy's at the door. And you know why? Because Misty's in here asleep on the floor. Daddy didn't see Misty, so now Tommy's figured out she's in here and he wants in. And I may have to open the door and let him in. <laughs> so, Well, we didn't mess this up too bad. All right, well, let's get busy on these. I'm not even going to try to finish these in this um, in this. Did a uh, video. Good gosh, what happens when I have a headache? Well, I'll try. Um, I won't finish them, and I know that, but I wanted to get a good start on them. So I'm thinking that these here are already. I'm gonna move them off to the side. I've already inked them. They are already adhered to the pages. It's kind of like playing cards, huh? And I'm gonna put those off to the side. Hmm because these are loose so I don't want to lose what's on here I do want to add things to them and I I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to add to them but I'm going to add something I am thinking I've pulled out rubber stamps I have pulled out some Tim Holtz people I pulled out words images all kinds of goodies to add to these little babies so I think I might start with a little bit of stamping I've got some new stamps this one's by stamp period it's a high definition don't think it has a name. It's WTKCC184. That is what I got. And I don't know where I got it. Um, I don't know if it's one I ordered online or it came with one of my kits from Mixed Media Minnesota. It might have come with one of my kits. I'm not positive. So I am going to do a little bit of, you know, guys, I didn't give myself a stamp off sheet. Oh. Not that I ever use one. I'm really not very good with those. I'm not great with my with my rubber stamps, but you know, I try. Let me get something to stamp on. This paper got all bent up in my printer, so we'll use that. You know, sometimes how your printer grabs it and then it's like, what a mess. So I hope you're all having a wonderful Wednesday. And you're having a good week so far. Ooh, I love this. I've never used this one. I probably should have put it on a block. I hope I have a block. I mean, I do, but it's buried. I can't get to it. So um, let me, let me. Oh, ew, we need a lot more ink than that. I think my vintage photos getting dry. I do have the refills, so I may have to do that. Okay, still haven't gotten to organizing my stuff, but I'll get there. Not worried about it. I will get there. 
I did come up with some projects. I mean, I, I knew what I wanted to do. I just didn't know how to get to it. So right now I'm prepping projects. Oh, cute. Okay, then I want to add... I have a little... I've had these forever. Don't ask me where I got them because I don't know. Probably had them for 10 years or more. This is back to my mixed media days. They are paper parts. Where are they by? Mm. Catherine Moore, 2007. <laughs> I've had these a while. Just a bit. Just a bit. Um, but I really, really adore them and I use them all the time. cute okay now did I grab my I have these male ones I got uh, I got these from Amazon and my favorite thing about these these are all postage postage and standard cart making decorating I don't know they don't have much on them <laughs> So we're going to do a little, oh, that's okay. It's not great. I'm going to do Paris down here. There we go. I'm purposely not trying to make them perfect. Just doing, I'm going to stamp them off a little bit just to get rid of a, so much ink on them. In case I drop something on them, you know, we don't want that. All right, um, not real happy with that, it moved. So if I cover it up, it's no big deal. I might put a word there maybe, or put a sentence there. I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, let me get my, my um, dauber here. I'm gonna just ink it a little bit, not a lot. And roll this down because I have no thumbnail. <laughs> So, keep saying I'm going to polish my nails. That hasn't happened either. Oh, I'll get there. I will get there. But at least I did pick out my, my images beforehand. All right. I'm not liking that. So, let me get my Tim Holtz books. Word books. See what we got here. Uh, I just saw it and then it went away. Hmm. Choose to shine. That's when I saw. I really like that. So I thought I'll just give it a little hit with the ink. I'm going to have very inky hands today, I think. There you have it, choose to shine. All right, and then I'm gonna ink around the edges, which finishes it off nicely. I'm not all that excited about that either. So let me see if I have something to put over that that maybe I like better. So if you do something you don't like, it's so easy. Just find something else to put over it. You know, if you have enough goodies in your stash. It took me a long time to build this stash. It took me several years to get it where I want it. A lot of these things, though, I did, like I said, I've had since I was my mixed media days. I was very, very into Tim Holtz before most people even knew who Tim Holtz was. There you go. Alrighty, I like that one much better now. I've done a few little things to it. All right, so we'll put that off to the side. That one's done. Put it in a pile somewhere, right? 
I will be going back to these others that are already done and adding some words and things. All right, so I just want to do the butterflies while they're still in front of me and they're, like I said, they're loose. I don't want them running around my desk or flying around my room. So this little one, I found this. This came from Tim Holtz Mini Snippets, I think, uh, or it came from his other, one of his other snippets, like his botanical snippets. It might've come from that one. So it's not a sticker. I'm going to put that up there. I'm going to do a little ink on the butterfly. These are washi butterflies I got on Amazon by just putting in, you know, washi stickers, botanicals. Washi botanical stickers, I think, is what I put on there. And I got these. But you get a lot. So I got flowers and butterflies and mushrooms. Now, if any of you love mushrooms on your work, please let me know because I am thinking about giving away in, in a drawing some, I've got several kits of mushrooms and I never use them on anything. I've got digital papers. I have um, all kinds of mushroom images. Plus I have stickers and I don't use them. So I'm thinking about reducing my large supply of them. And so I want to put them in a giveaway. So if you leave me a message saying you love the mushrooms, I'll put you in my drawing for them. And I'll draw from this video. Okay, only this video for those of you who see it before I draw it. I'm not going to tell you when I'm going to draw it, but probably pretty quick. <clears throat> and I will mail them off to you. So I'll, I'll contact you. I'll let you know on a video who won them, and then I'll get your address. It won't be tons, but it'll be some. I want to reduce down some of my mushrooms. Just ugh, I'm not a fan of mushrooms. I'm sorry. I try to use them in my work, and I just, or to me, they're just fungus. So I'm going to put this on here. I picked up the blue there. Now I feel like it needs a word, and I feel like it needs a little something down there. Um, you know, I didn't grab my, well, I don't need to grab, grab Tracy Fox because I've got all these little goodies here. Oh gosh, I didn't want to pour them all out, but I guess I am. Eek! <laughs> uh, oh, whoops. I was thinking something like that maybe down there. It might be a bit big, but I could cut it down if I decide I want to use it. Let me see what else I got. My, okay. Might not be the best way to do this. All right, I have these little dishes I keep on my desk. I got them at Dollar Tree. There we go. Ta-da! Okay. Yeah, I did get that out of here. Oh, there's one. I just want to add like a little, couple of little somethings. Mm -hmm. The whole point of ATC cards is kind of a, um, very much a uh, collage stack artsy kind of thing. So I don't really know a lot behind it. I just know I've always loved them. I used to see millions of pictures of them on Pinterest and in my um, stamp, Stampin' Up! Mag not Stampin' Up! What do you call it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it'll come to me. I'm thinking, but nothing's happening. <laughs> no brain power today. Oh, that's the meds. I know. It's okay. Oh, Somerset. Somerset magazines. I would see tons of ATC cards, and I always wanted to make them. So this is kind of my first little foray into it right here. Let me find my... In that rubber stamp is this cute little... I'm wondering what it would look like if I just put like a little... Hmm. Maybe not that. Maybe not that. Um, what do I want to put? Oh, words. Duh. Okay. Maybe we'll do it from this end this time. Yeah, that works. 
just dawned on me, I probably should have another piece of paper under that. Um, oh, what have I got? What have I got? What have I got? I can tell you I have ones that have splotches on them from my lovely printer. Look at that. On both ends. I don't know. My printer was having a fit one day and decided to make a mess of everything. Now, which end did I put that on? Huh? Let me see. Wait. Which end did I put it on? Oh, gosh. Hello. Brain death has occurred. Oh, I moved it. Mm. No, I did okay. Whew. I thought I moved it. Uh, now I'm going to stamp that off with this end again. Uh, I don't know if you hear a noise in the background. It kind of sounds like snoring. That would be Misty. Little Miss Misty has asthma very bad. In fact, she was at the vets yesterday because she's got bronchitis. And she was born with her respiratory problems. Um... We got him at three days old. Well, not we didn't get him at three days old. We picked him out. Our neighbor, not our neighbor, good God. Excuse me, good golly, Miss Molly. Um, the chief of police was a good friend of mine and his wife uh, rescue animals like we do. And so they told us they had, I told him I was looking for some kittens, a kitten, and that I wanted to train as a um, medical kitty. And so they got a bunch of kittens. They found them at three days old. They had been abandoned by their mommy. So Misty and Tommy were abandoned. It was just the two of them. They were tiny. They were sick. They had, oh my gosh, a ton of medical problems. But we agreed to take them on at five weeks old. And um, because they live in the country, everyone was just dropping their animals off over there. And so they probably had maybe close to 20 females that kept getting pregnant. So little by little, she trapped them all and got them fixed and then returned them to the wild. I think she kept one or two. I don't know. But we got our twins, and they are identical from the back until you look at them from the front. <laughs> so I call them twins. Anyway, Misty was born with this respiratory issue along with a bunch of other stuff that we were able to fix except the respiratory problem. So periodically, she gets bronchitis and pneumonia. And so we, um, we took her on and... Uh, so anyway, she's sick again, and so yesterday she came home with a ton of medication. I also have Mr. Toby I've told you about. He's 16, and he's very, very ill. I We don't think he's going to make it. Um, first it was his thyroid issue, then his white cell count bottomed out, and come to find out he has some form of cancer. So um, we're making him comfortable right now. We're trying to see if we can get any of his counts up if we can. Great. If we can't, um, we're going to have to let him go because he is, the minute I see any more suffering, we're not sure if it's just that he needs medication and it works and he's fine and he stops suffering or if he is suffering in a way that where we need to let him go. And I just lost Honey a month ago, so I don't know <clears throat> how I'm going to deal with that. Um, I am looking for something to go up here. I think it's going to be another word. Let's see what we've got. This is pretty. This butterfly is beautiful. <sighs> there are so many. Stay strong, be brave, be amazed, make it happen. I like make it happen. So, you know, we've been going to the vet just about every day for the last two or three weeks. And... <laughs> Getting very close to our brand new vet, our our veterinarian who we'd had for over 30 years, uh, sold his practice to a young veterinarian and his wife, and they're both veterinarians, and they've added seven day a week service, which is nice, and late into the day an emergency service. So it's great for our county, but it's really hard to get in, and we've been going there so long, but we're getting to know him well, and we're getting more happy with him. We weren't happy at first, but I think he's getting the idea about what he's got to do here. So how to be part of our community. He's not from here. So he's figuring it out. It's a small community, you know? So anyway, I have Misty in here with me because I have to keep an eye on her. Watch her breathing. So if I suddenly turn off the video, things went bad, but I think she's okay. I think the antibiotics are already working on her. So I'm happy with that. 
Alrighty, where are we at? I've got my time. I need to see what time I started. Oh, I got a half hour. I'm good. Okay. So we now have these two. I'm getting the hang. It's happening. It's happening. I'm happy with them. They're so fun. These are super fun, ladies. If you haven't ever done them, I highly recommend it. They're miniatures. You know, you're not doing a big old page. I love to collage. Um, in fact, I was doing the um, collage that both Gail and Amy were doing, but I had to stop it because I just couldn't keep up. And I talked to the gal who, um, I actually talked to her, who created the challenge. I can't even think of her name right now. I'm blanking. Um, but I chatted with her and she told me to not use it as it's done on a daily planner. She said, don't use it as a daily planner, weekly or monthly. Just ignore the dates and just decorate and collage using the prompts when you feel like it. So I am going to do that. And um, she said, just set it aside for now and pick it back up later. You know, because I told her, oh, I just love this, but I can't figure out how to fit it in. And she's fabulous. I, I really, really enjoyed chatting with her. So is it Marguerite Miller? Marguerite Miller. Yeah. Very, a lovely lady. Very encouraging. Really encourages collage and, um, you know, doing them and being part of the collage community, which I would love to do, but that's a whole different community than this one. And really, I'm trying to honestly keep my focus on, um, you know, what I'm doing now. But I may start doing it on the weekends, going back to my collages. I'm debating whether I still like this. I think I do. I feel like it needs something. Um, I don't, I don't have too many small tags left. No, I don't think I might go with that one though. I like that, but I'm, I keep using up all my little brown labels. <laughs> so I don't know if I have any left. These are Tracy Fox. Oh yeah, I think I could do that. And then add a little word too, maybe. Okay, I think I got it. I keep throwing my ink around. <laughs> I really need to keep it in one place, which is normally off to my right side because I'm right-handed. <laughs> so, oh gosh, it's been a crazy expensive couple of months with the retaining wall. We had to get our air conditioner got to get a new motor mm, that was pricey and then we had a leaky faucet and a new we need a new valves underneath the sink because it was leaking like a sieve not leaking it was stuck and then it because there wasn't any pressure we got no hot water in the kitchen it would take like an hour to get hot which is wasting water during a bad time of year you know bad time during a drought year so my husband Finally got the cartridges for the inside, and then he changed the valves underneath without a lot of difficulties, I have to tell you. We're lucky we didn't flood the kitchen. And now we have tons of hot water. In fact, I scald myself on a regular basis because I'm not used to hot water <laughs> in the kitchen. That hot of water real quick. So I'm thrilled to have that fixed. The retaining wall is, I'm happy to report, finished as of last Friday. Uh, the guys finished it up. It is beautiful. I do have pictures. I On my next video, I'll uh, show you what it looks like. If you're uh, follow me on Facebook, on my personal Facebook page, um, I do have pictures over there. Lots and lots of pictures. So uh, you can go over there and see them or you can wait for me to, to show you. So... Doing a little of my layering thing. I'm trying to decide if um, I was happy with that, but I was trying to decide if I wanted something over here, any kind of a stamp or other stamp, or probably just words, because I'm gonna use words on these. Aren't um, these are known for having words? Um, let's see what's on this next page. How about let it go? Although I think I wanted something longer up there. Yeah, that's kind of short. I'm going to put that back off. I can use it later. Be awesome today. 
I want these to be encouraging, you know? Yeah, that's longer. That'll work. I don't like the bright white because I'm not working on anything white here. So I am inking it because I just don't like the white. I want it to look a little more in keeping with what's there. Oh, I need to put glue because these, as much as I, these are not very sticky. They're not sticky at all. In fact, I mean, they're barely sticky. And these are going to go through the mail, so I want to make sure. Oh, cute. I like that. I don't think I need anything over there. You know what I could put over there? Just to have a little something, but not really, you know? Sorry about my arm. <laughs> Sometimes I forget I'm on camera. I am a goofball. There we go. Cute. That came up cute. Look how cute that is. So I'm a bit shaky. Okay. Okay. Now. How about. Oh. That clear stuff you pull off. Boy, you can't even see it till it moves around on your desk. It's freaky. <laughs> So, hmm. Do I want words back there? I have other words. I don't have to just use those. I have a cute little fence. I have. Hmm, maybe not that at this time, but I do have a cute little. I love this stamp. It's one of my favorites. It's a Prima again. I think this is Prima. Oh no, this is Finnebar. This is Finnebar. And it's item 966980. It doesn't have any kind of name on it that I can see. Oh, it's called Old Receipt. It's called Old Receipt. So it's a Finnebar. Came in one of my um, kits that I got from Mixed Media Minnesota. Where did my ink go? Like I said, I need to leave it right there. Where do I put it? Way off there. Off my desk. Oh, girlfriend needs a nap after this. Well, that did nothing. Okay, let's, oh, and by the way, if I didn't say, Misty snores like a freight train, so <laughs> you may hear this crazy sound here in a minute. She's getting into deep sleep right now. She's sleeping right behind me. I wish I could flip the camera around to show you, but I'll get her on camera one of these days. All right. Boy, I got rubber stamps open everywhere here. That's good though. I, I'm so thrilled to be using them. Honestly, it's it's making me very happy. Okay. Let's move a few of these things out of the way. Oh goodness, I've got a mess going here. Alright, so we got that. Now we want to give this a little ink. Even if I only get a few of these made on camera, I'll be happy because, you know, I've been wanting to get these done. They've been sitting on my desk for a few days. So then I'm also prepping for my next series. I am going to be doing a journal. It's called Tea Time, a shabby tea time journal, an actual journal. And I probably I'm going to I'm thinking about doing a start to finish, but I don't know if I'll do the entire the majority of it. I will do on camera. But tiny little finish work I probably will do off camera. So we'll see. It depends on how it's received by you guys. If I have good numbers, I'll I'll work on it. If you guys, if no one's really that excited about it, then you know I, I may not. I'm trying to figure out how I wanna put that in the corner. 
I want to leave a place for uh, a, yeah, I'll move it all the way up, I think. Put that there, and then I can leave myself a space for a little something or other. I feel like it needs a little something else. Not that. Looking to see if there's anything that I like. I kind of want something, well, it doesn't have to be. Hmm. I like that. I think I'll do that. I think my hubby went off to the post office to mail some stuff for us. Ooh, Misty Girl snoring up a storm. I don't know if you can hear her. <laughs> Misty Moo, Misty, yo pee pee. I woke her up just to kind of, her breathing sounds awful, doesn't it? Poor baby. She, oh, she has asthma just like her mama. That'd be me, <laughs> this mama. So she's in good company. We sympathize with these. So in fact, sometimes I used to think it was her wheezing, but I found out later it was me. I didn't know I had asthma couldn't figure out what my problem was and the doctor says oh you have asthma and I went what no I've never had asthma in my life what are you talking about I'm a healthy not <laughs> no I've never been healthy but I don't think I had that issue along with everything else good lord all right hmm we need something here and let's see do I just want a word or do I want to put another? Yeah, I don't want to do that. I need another word. What else have we got? How many pages of this do I have? Do I have it in black too? Oh, I have black words too. I didn't know that. <laughs> this is new. I haven't I haven't used it much. I've only used it a couple of times, so I've never really looked at it. I guess I could do some dark ones there. Let's see what that looks like just to be... I like that up there, but I feel like something needs to be there. Oh, do we like that? I don't know how I feel about the black ones. I like them, but I know I need a longer one. Oh, too long. Okay, well. Oh, I like that. Okay, I got an idea. Okay, okay, I think I got it. I'm gonna try it. I am gonna, just the edges, cause there's a white edge on here. It's not that it's gonna make it old or anything. It's just, um, I could see the white where it's cut out. So I'm giving it a little bit of ink. Oh, I hope that's straight. Oh, I don't know, is that straight? Cute, 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 cute. Okay. Oh, I love these Tim Holtz things. I love everything Tim Holtz. Yeah, like I said, I was following him long, long ago when he was very first out. Nobody really even knew who he was. He was in my magazines, and so he was just kind of coming out. There, that took care of that little bare corner without putting anything too dark in it, you know? Cute. I'm really happy with that. <laughs> Still got this stuck to my finger. Hello. All right. Put that off to the side. Um, I'll take this one. Where am I at? Okay. So I've got some time. I think I want to put some more ink on here. Not that I can't get it on this mat, I can, but I don't want it on my hand because inevitably that's what's going to happen. The little birdie there in the corner, maybe.
This little stamp has some fun, it's got some grids on it. It's got all kinds of cool things on it. There. And maybe just kind of Yeah, not much on there. I just thought if there was anything left on there, I would just kind of stamp off on there. But really, there wasn't too much on there. So, all right. Um, I do want to ink the edges. Super cute. Really happy with these. Oh, boy, look at my thumb. Ink everywhere. Oh, my. But you are not a crafter unless you have something all over you. Ink, glue, whatever. <laughs> Paint. Uh, let's see what else can you get on you. I don't know. Glitter. <laughs> Chalk. Color crayons. I don't know. Watercolors. <laughs> you should have a little bit of something all over you. Now what else can I put on there? Let me see. I'm going to bring out my little dish of goodies to see if there's anything... Boy, these have been just wonderful to use today. Mm, too big. What else do I have? Well, I hope you're all well. I don't know if I said that. I can't remember. But I hope everything's going great for you and things are great in your world and you guys are maybe out on vacation or doing some crafting or, or maybe you're back working. I don't know. The world has returned to the living, so I don't know what people are really doing right now. I think that's good. I don't think this one needs a ton of stuff. I just think it needed a little something. Um, I really love these snippets by Tim Holtz. I have the um, botanical snippets too, I think. I don't know if they were called botanical, but I think they are. Now this butterfly wing is going to go over that, and I don't know how that's going to look because I haven't put any of these butterflies over any pieces, but we'll give it a shot. What the heck, huh? Oh. I think I started to say that I am working on a project. Oh, I am. I'm working on two really fun projects. I think you'll enjoy watching. And I'm going to alternate them so it's not just going to be like days and days of the same thing. And as I alternate those in for the rest of July, those two, I'm also going to... Um, sneak in the finish of my sewing journal. So it'll be the three things that I'll be working on. Uh, you'll see the ephemera that's going to go into them and you'll see the journals get put together and finished and all that. And then they'll go into my shop. So, um, where's my words? Where's my words? Somebody stole my words. Here we go. I am, I can't decide if I want to like a light word. No, I think they just disappear. So I think it's going to be the dark ones. Let's see. And so the adventure begins. Do I want one that goes all the way across? Because that's a big one. How about believe in yourself? I don't know if this is long enough. Yeah, I like that. Where do I want it? Oh, that actually stuck, which never happens. Lower middle, high, middle, oh yeah, maybe there, I don't know, my eye's not on today, <laughs> it's napping, <laughs> remember the other day when I said, oh, my vision's getting worse, I'm having a hard time seeing, guess what, this filthy, dirty glasses, I did not realize they had gotten so dirty, I had just washed them, but you know, we craft, and so I get dust and stuff on them and didn't even know it. I'm like, no, there's nothing wrong with my vision. It's just my glasses were dirty. It's 
Sometimes the cats get a hold of them and they lick them. <laughs> or whatever it is kitty cats do when you're not looking. Oh my goodness. So, isn't that adorable? So cute. I think I have time to do maybe one more. Look at my time. Yeah, maybe I have time to do one more. I just love this one. I don't think I'm going to do too much to this. It's already plenty. It's got plenty of background, so I'm not going to uh, do any major um, stamping on it. I'm just taking the white off the edges. I haven't stuck that in the ink in a while. There's not too much left on my little dauber. It's not giving me much of anything at all. Hope you ladies are enjoying my videos and still, you know, watching them. I really appreciate it for those of you who do because I have a big surprise for you guys. So I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. But as you know, and I'll give you a hint, in the next very, very, very soon, if you are liking and commenting on specific video, I'm not going to tell you what it's going to be, you will be entered into a drawing for something for a journal. And so, I'm not gonna tell you which one it is. I will tell you it will start with the next upcoming project. And I'm not gonna tell you which the two projects it is, but um, I've got two big ones coming and you will be entered into the drawing for that journal that I'm working on. So, you know what you gotta do. You gotta like, and you gotta comment, and you have to be a subscriber. That's it, that's all I require, nothing difficult. And here's the kicker. Yeah, gotta watch all the videos for that journal, but I'm not gonna tell you what journal, which one, which of the two journals it's gonna be. So, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it very simple. Very, very simple. So, those of you that are paying attention here will be the ones who will be eligible for that journal. And, you know, my journals sell for some pretty big prices usually, so to get one with all the goodies in it is going to be, I think, a fun thing for someone who really likes my work, if you like my work. And it'll be a fully blinged up journal, so it'll have all the goodies. It won't be just like a little... But I may also do a secondary giveaway, like I did last time, with a little bit smaller matching piece to the journal. Not small, but smaller notebook or something like that. So, ladies, it's worth your time to watch my videos and comment and like them. Isn't that cute? Let it go. Okay, so I'm going to show you what we did finish today. We completed that one, that one, and that one, that one, that one, and that one. Aren't those adorable? So those are artist trading cards. And hopefully they're going to be, I'm going to finish all 25 and get them ready to go so that I can um, put them in my orders when I put everything in my shop. And that is also coming very, very soon, quicker than you think. I can't, I'm not going to give you a hint just yet, but start paying attention to the videos because I will announce it. Um, and I'll probably just do a special video that says, hey, there's stuff in the shop, ladies. Here's what's in there. Go look. Okay. So I want to thank you all for coming along today and for watching and subscribing and commenting. And I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday and I will see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.